JSO is now investigating who put a fake Native American head on a Jacksonville landmark. We were there when crews removed that head from the Andrew Jackson statue downtown at the landing. Action News' Russell Colburn shows us just how much work it took for someone to put it there. Whoever did this must have been pretty determined. Never mind the chain barrier that wraps around the statue. They had to get up pretty high. They must have used a ladder or got up on the base of the statue to put that fake head on Jackson's lap. For people in the area of the Jacksonville landing this morning, it was hard not to notice. Some, such as Jamie Johnson, stopped to snap pictures. But that doesn't mean they were amused. I think that there's too much racial tension going on in uh today's day and age and seeing something like that right in my backyard where I run every day is completely ridiculous. Johnson got her wish when the city used a crane to remove the Indian head this morning. It had been there since at least last night when we shot this video. For some locals it may be a sign of oppression as Jackson was president during the Trail of Tears, the brutal mass relocation of Native Americans that resulted in thousands of deaths. History's not always pretty. So I sat down with Emily Liska, the executive director of the Jacksonville Historical Society. She tells me Jackson supported moving the Native Americans, but his relationship with them wasn't always poor. Jackson was known as the loving adopted father of Native American children, and uh, Jackson also was known for being ruthless. Regardless, for those we spoke with today, this display didn't inspire thought, it was just offensive. It shows that ignorance is still alive and people are, are not tolerant of each other. A representative with the city tells me this case has been turned over to the JSO officer who deals with the parks. As of right now, the city has no idea who would do this or why. Reporting downtown, Russell Colburn, CBS 47 Action News.